So in the last video, we created a products list and we added some items to it. Prices, you know, showed you how to create this custom list. Now, what you'll see actually that I've added since the last video, is I've added a new column here called the cost price. And what I want to demonstrate now is calculated fields. Um, so say, for example, what we wanted to do uh, for each particular product, we wanted to show the profit that we were making um, on each particular, each particular product. Now I could create a column here called profit and I could manually enter the profit every single time. But if I want to save myself a bit of time, I can use a calculated field to show me what the profit I'm making on each item, which is really brilliant. Uh, the second thing I'll actually show you is column ordering. So you also see here that I've added cost price, but really what I want to do is I want to actually have cost price next to sales price. Um, so I can see that a lot more clearly and I want my profit to be displayed there as well. So I'll show you how to use column ordering to, to change how, uh, how the columns are displayed. So first I'm going to go to the list settings and I'm going to create my new column. And I'll call this the profit column. And the column type, I'm going to call it, I'm going to choose a calculated calculation based on other columns. So what I can do here is if I press the equal sign here, if you go to Microsoft, the MSDN or TechNet, there's a lot of, or just generally Googling, you'll find a lot of information about how to use formulas, uh, but they're very similar to Excel formulas if you've used that before. Um, but SharePoint allows you to kind of create very basic formulas very easily. Uh, if you just, for example, press equals here, and I say I want to take my sales price and add that in, so it's automatically going to add that in in square brackets, and I want to subtract the cost price. And I'll just leave it like that. Now that's going to calculate the difference, and it'll ask me the data type I want to return. Uh, really, I want to have this as a currency because the two, these two fields are also currencies. Amount of decimal places will be two. Currency format will stay the same. And I'll press OK. I'll go back to my products list. And you'll see actually here that it's calculated all the profit for me, which is fantastic. So now when I go in and I change, for example, the cost of bread goes up. So I'm now paying 60 pence or 60 cents for my bread. I can see here now that SharePoint has calculated the difference and shows me the profit. You'll actually also notice here that the calculated field doesn't appear anywhere here. So I can't actually modify that myself. Uh, you wouldn't want a user to modify that because it's a calculated field. So SharePoint automatically hides that from the form for you. Now I also talked about column ordering. So really, I mean, I can change the order of the columns in my view, but really that won't, I mean, that won't change the order of the columns when I look at a particular item. So everything here is kind of not in the, in the order that I want it. Uh, and that has nothing to do with views. That's when I look at an individual item. So I'm going to close this down here and go back to list settings. And I'm going to go down to below the columns and I'm going to click on column ordering. And very straightforward here. I can just choose the order in which everything is displayed. So I will put the product description as the second item. And then I'll have the cost price as the third. The sales price as the fourth. And the profit as the fifth. I'll press OK. Go back to my products list. Now the view is still set to show the items in the same in that particular order, so I'll have to change that. But when I look at an item, an individual item, you can see now that the columns have been rearranged in a more logical way.